In this video we're going to be taking a look at Drupal namespaces and auto loading. In Drupal 8 we're using the PSR4 standard for package based PHP namespace auto loading and everything that is in the namespace is auto loaded. Each module has a namespace that corresponds to Drupal slash module name. So this is the namespace by default. And the module's namespace is mapped to the src folder in the module directory. Anything after the module namespace directly maps to the directory and file structure in the src folder. So we would have a look at a very nice example on drupal.org, link in the description. Here it's illustrated a example module called vegetable and here we see the folder structure for example we have the folder modules and vegetable and inside of it we have css js and the interesting folder for us and for the namespaces is the src folder because everything that is inside of the src folder directly maps to the namespace the first example is with a controller. So we have a vegetable controller PHP file that is located inside of the controller folder and inside of the SRC folder. So the namespace for it is basically Drupal slash vegetable. This is coming from the module name. So this is the module's namespace and then we have controller because here we have the controller folder and we have the name of the file which is also the name of the class that is contained inside of the vegetable controller PHP. It is the same with the forms so we have a vegetable form.php file that contains a vegetable form class and that is located in the src form folder so we see that the namespace is again drupal slash module name and then form and the name of the class here and the file it is also the same with the plugin as we see here it's in the src folder plugin block vegetable block of course the namespace is the name of the module plugin block vegetable block same with entity it's a bit different with the unit tests because the test folder for the unit tests is outside of the src folder and for that we have the src folder inside of the test folder and there we have the unit and here as we see the namespace is drupal tests the name of the module, unit, and the name of the class. But that's not very important. The most important things are here for controllers, forms, plugins. And let's have a quick look at an example. Here we have our cow service. And as we see, we have the namespace here, Drupal slash the name of the module because our module here is called Drupal of service and basically in order to use it somewhere else we could implement a use statement and then use it there so let's go ahead and quickly create a new controller so we would create a new file and we would put it in the controller folder and we'll call the file like vegetable controller the one we saw in the example and for our vegetable controller class we would of course start with the php here declaration and we would say namespace starting with drupal then the name of the module Drupal up service 
and then controller because we have here the controller folder and here we would of course have a class that is called vegetable controller and in order to use for example our service in our vegetable controller we would usually use dependency injection but let's go ahead and see an example how we would solely use the namespaces and the auto loading to get our vegetable controller to show something from our cow service so if we have a public function let's say vegetable page for our controller and here in order to render directly something from our cow service we would usually do here a use statement and we say drupal and then drupal of service the name of the module and then from our cow service since its namespace is just drupal drupal service because it's located directly in the src folder we'll directly here copy the name of our class and we would say here that we are using the call service like this and here we have directly access to our call service let's say like this equals new call service so we are instantiating the call service like this because the namespacing and the auto loading is making that possible so as i told you in such case you would usually just use dependency injection to get the service injected in the construct method but this is just an example of how we could use the namespaces and the auto loading and the use statement in order to get a class for example if we had here a normalizer class or some facade class or something special that that is not a service we would just get it with the use statement and as we declare in that other class the namespace we directly access it like this so thanks for watching if you like the video please check the links in the description like subscribe and see you in the next video